last week we went to talk to the people in Fish Island around there. <coughs> they don't like you very much. Any idea why? Uh, yes. Well, hang um, on. It depends which, which people we talk to. Because yeah. quite a lot of them we, we know very well and yeah. we have a very constructive yeah. relationship with. Well, well, I don't think even people, people don't... there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so there may be some people who don't. You are never I, as Paul said, I think there's been very intensive engagement over a long time. Ticking a box. Um, and well, well, uh, that's not their view. Well, I don't know who you were speaking to. Why you've chosen the one major residential area to run an all modes road bridge? Yeah. What I'm saying is there has been very intensive list. engagement, both in. Sorry. Four, we'll give you a list. And none of that has been done. Yeah, well, no, too. In. in Formal consultation and informally. In spite of all that, you're still the LLDC juggernaut just continues reg- relentlessly. Um, so uh, there is a tension. Uh, I think it's fair to say. These have been in plans for a very long time. They were in uh, Tower Hamlets's own uh, Fish Island Area Action Plan a number of years ago. Since those plans, Fish Island became a conservation area. They've been in the planning applications related to the Olympics since, I think, 2007. Um, that was before the London plan became car-free. Let me put it very simply. There's 100 people. They could be artists, they could be residents, they could be mm. whatever. You're talking to 100 people in a very complex engagement over yes. many, many months and many, many years. On Westminster Council, if we do that, we eventually do a customer survey and we set out those 100 people, how many of you are satisfied? And we normally get ratings 81%. So 19 people still hate us, okay? 19 people think we're the devil, Hmm. 81 people think we're doing a good job. Have you got any figures that show any percentage of the people you engage with think you're doing a good job? For you to sit there and say, we think you're doing a good job, isn't acceptable. You've got to give evidence. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Right, great. We do exactly that. Give us the figures. Uh, They're they're well over 80%. They're, uh, and uh, depending on different questions, but the... Uh, we've had some where the uh, positivity has been uh, uh, over 90%. How are you going to accommodate these people? who simply don't fit into the, their square pegs and I'm going to fit into your round holes or the other way around. Hi. Can, I, can, mm. I, can, can we just wind back slightly? Because you've spoken to a certain um, set of people that, um, who we know and, and love and have conversations with the whole time. Conversations and relationships with people like Naima Taranchi. With Naima, I have said to him very recently, Naima, with Will and Naima, you know, I spend a lot of time talking to them. Um, so that's uh, as in addition to all the other things we do. So that's, as a matter of fact, not correct. Um, and they're saying you're not really engaging with them. Okay. Can I, sorry. Well, let, let me make Sorry, sorry. Uh, this is not the case that we haven't worked with those people. What's come to a head is the Victoria Wharf situation. Um, that's what's brought to the head a group of people who, um, who are, are unhappy with us. And that's a, a situation where there's another warehouse, as you know, which we are going to demolish to build a bridge. In fact, a large number of the people in that um, Victoria Wharf were not artists. We had people who were distributing foodstuffs and dis- you know, all sorts of little businesses, all of whom, except two, moved on without a murmur. All I can say to that is that um, I've seen your letter to the chairman. Um, you know, that has had an effect. And, uh, you know, clearly now you'd like to. to discuss the project in more detail and that will happen so you know I'm sure we will respond as a, as a corporation as we should it, once you've had that session with David Evans. On the Victoria Wharf thing they say there isn't another need for a pedestrian bridge because there's the lock bridge and that could be improved and that would provide a pedestrian bridge rather than within 50 yards of it but, but the, the, key, the key point they're making is this, is, is, is this top-down thing. They're saying, OK, you're providing artist studios in the bottom of these buildings, but which we saw, which are all empty, because they're not what the artists need to do their job. 
I know, but I, 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 I only a great I, long list. I will stop, end. and I think that right. I will stop. That's important. Now, but that's not answering the key point. Yes. Get, you know, that's woods and trees, isn't it? Beautiful studios we saw in the bottom of those buildings to the side of, of the existing bridge on the other side of Fish Island. How many of those have we actually let? Those are the, 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 the new buildings, residential, where you got uh, artist studios underneath. You mean the Omega Works ones? They're not let, they're a massive, in my view, error of planning. We absolutely support the, the principle of Mixie's buildings. In the park, they're not our, we didn't give planning. Was awesome. Well, we weren't the planning authority or the developers of those, and I, I completely agree with you yeah. that smearing notional workspace, whatever it is, across the ground floor of East London was a, a big past yeah. error. Can I put it a different way? We're not repeating it. Very clearly, this is a major area of concern from my viewpoint, from where I am. Because when the local community says that LLDC doesn't understand us, when they say that uh, their policies have negative effect <coughs> in real creative industries work terms, when they say that the LLDC favors sanitized large cultural institutions, etc. Surely, you know, there is some, I think, uh, area of, uh, well, th there's a lot needs to be doing so that the community doesn't feel that they're being excluded. Very clearly, that there's the, the impression, very clear impression we came back with that uh, they, they, they want to engage, but uh, that is not happening effectively. I want you to know that, like, I, I walk into every situation with you, I'm giving bit of the benefit of the doubt. And we do hope for quite a human aspect of the people we meet at LDC and for the ability to convert that humanity to good choices that we believe. And hopefully your goal is to like, improve the area and improve London. Essentially, that's, that's where our overlap is. We're actually sort of putting out a hand of partnership. And uh, that uh, you're not quite interested in that kind of local community uh, to have positive engagement. I mean, all I would say is I certainly, with a number of the, the people, with Will and Naima, you know, I spend a lot of time talking to them. Um, so that's, uh, as in addition to all the other things we do. So that's, as a matter of fact, not correct, if they gave you that impression. Um, but um, the numbers will speak for themselves in terms of the community in the round, as David has said, where there is overwhelming support for what we do. Well, overwhelming support. Overwhelming support. Well, let's and, and, and to be clear, sorry, just the, the point of Paul's examples, because I don't want them to be dismissed. Those no. were things where we helped local people, actually mostly those examples in the areas we're talking about, in Hackney Wick and Fish Island, do exactly what they wanted to do because we'd listened, because we'd engaged, and because we tried to help them do what they wanted to do. That doesn't, to me, interpret as that we're not listening or not engaging or helping achieve what they want. It means in one case we haven't been able to reach agreement because there is a, a priority, another priority about the use of that site. But the examples Paul gave were all ones where we have engaged, we have reached agreement, and we have helped those people in those, that same local community achieve their objectives <coughs> through our support. So we, we don't accept that we don't engage. We accept on one specific side. Operating company. So, the last so point you, is, so the other what? people we don't ask, you know, are the, are the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who will come to live there in the future and will not thank us if, in the case of the bridge, we don't build the bridge. You know, we, we don't want to be in a position in 10 years' time where we've got sort of thousands of households telling us, why didn't you make a proper piece of so city that we can move around? So I can get to the school I, across I the we, world. Yes. Well, yes. There are, there are some, some losers out of this regeneration game, but then there are, there are some big gains. Is that, that what it means for you, losers and winners? <laughs>